Lieutenant Governor Walter Dalton was in Raleigh to open the brand new Wake NC State University STEM Early College High School. The Lieutenant Governor has been leading the state's push for education innovation. In 2003, Dalton authored the Innovative Schools Act, which established the state's early college high schools. Now there are over 70 early colleges in North Carolina serving 14,000 students. The students and faculty need to understand that you're already part of something great. The New York Times said North Carolina's early college model is a model for the nation. It's exciting for another reason, because this group of students is going to take it to a whole new level. You are going to be an anchor school. You're going to be a model for others. We are joining you with one of the best universities in the nation today, particularly in STEM education at NC State. In 2009, Lieutenant Governor Dalton launched the Jobs Commission, which stands for Joining Our Businesses and Schools. It aligns high schools with higher education and business partners. Dalton's Jobs Commission recommended the Wake-NC State partnership, and Dalton helped secure essential funding from the General Assembly. The Jobs Commission, which was chaired by the Lieutenant Governor, has really led the path in getting us prepared and preparing all kids for the 21st century. Lieutenant Governor Dalton understands that 21st century jobs require increased skills in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, or STEM. Of the 20 fastest growing occupations projected for 2014, 15 of them require significant math or science preparation to compete for a job. That's why Dalton has been a champion for STEM education in North Carolina. Schools like the Wake NC State Early College will boost the state's intellectual capital and produce more scientists, engineers, and technologically proficient workers. The school will focus on connecting traditionally underrepresented groups to science. It's very important that we tap into this group of kids who historically maybe hadn't thought about STEM uh, as a potential for college or career. And so the underserved kids would be the kids who may go to a larger comprehensive high school, but by coming to the smaller STEM early college, they're able to accumulate not only a high school diploma, but also up to two years of NC State credit. While African Americans account for about 15% of the population between the ages of 20 and 24, only about 8% of science and engineering degrees are earned by them, according to the National Science Foundation. The ratio is similar for Hispanics and Latinos. Also, the number of women obtaining STEM degrees lags behind men. In fact, only 3.8% of women chose engineering as a major. That's one of the reasons the Wake NC State STEM Early College will partner with the Professional Engineers of North Carolina. The organization has pledged to help students gain real-world experience with engineering's 14 grand challenges. Those grand challenges include advancing solar energy, providing clean water, securing cyberspace, and restoring urban infrastructure. The reality of today is due to the Lieutenant Governor's commitment to transforming education in the state of North Carolina. So all of our kids in the state of North Carolina will be competitive in this uh, global economy. For more information on early colleges, STEM education, or any of Lieutenant Governor Walter Dalton's other policy priorities, visit us on the web at www.ltgov.state.nc.us.